Well, we're uh, moving cows off corn stalks. Ended up, uh, oh, we had uh, one circle had a lot more feet on it, and we actually stayed a little bit longer because we went on a little later. And we were supposed to pull, and we were planning on pulling the first of March, which we should have done. Uh, this has just been an absolute nightmare to say the least. Um, so you can see, I'm driving backwards. So we've got a mile, mile uh, down this road. Uh, we are, they started just dropping calves. We probably, I mean, we got a ton of calves. I, you know, probably, I don't know how many calves they had, maybe a hundred. I mean, they just started dropping all in the past week. And, uh, just, we should have got a move sooner, but, you know, we're paying for the stocks, and, uh, just a, just a kind of a big mistake, leaving them there. Um, but it's the first year I've ever had stocks, so, you know, I messed up. I have, uh, around 200 cows here, and they all have, like, week-old babies. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't have 200 calves, but I've got close to 100, I would imagine. At least 70. At least 70, 75 calves. And, uh, oh, it has just been a nightmare this morning. And really what, what this goes to show to you is, um, how good... Uh, help if you have good help how much they can do I thank God my friends from Wyoming moved back here I'm gonna pause this uh, they showed up they're on two horses and I on a four-wheeler my dad was on this little uh, mule my wife was uh, in a pickup and trailer and her sister and mother were actually here and uh, they were just driving along, pick, and we were just picking up all the little babies who were real fresh or just, you know, were just brand new, a couple days old who didn't want to go, and we were just throwing them in the pickup and trailer. Uh, but I didn't have a good feed truck driver. And if you don't have somebody at the head who you know, will think about things, then it just, it can all fall apart. And we had some, a fence on this side that had some holes through it, but as we're just starting to pick up baby calves, the feed truck was already out of the field in the road, and cows were just going by it. I had to call them and be like, hey, you need to get in front of those cows and stop them because when these cows stop like this with all these little babies, it's a mess. Now, once we got into the road, it would have been fine because it, you know, then you really need to get the cows moving. And the issue was, is once we got onto the road, then they decided just to sit there. They went down the road a little ways and decided to sit there again. And... When that happens and all the cows are like, oh, we forget that we have calves and they all start just running back as hard and as fast as they can. And it's just a, it's just a cascade effect. It just, it's a nightmare when that kind of shit happens. And I got about 20 baby calves that went through fences that we're going to have to go back and, and pick up. And as they were, when it first started, it had four of them. And so I went around, got on the other side of the fence, and I started trying to catch him. And it just, you know, the person who was supposed to be leading everything just wasn't doing anything. And it just, it really shows. The cows turned back quite a few times, and finally I just, I just had enough. I had to walk up there. And as you can see, I'm in the pickup now. And it took me... Oh, maybe a couple minutes, grabbed a set of pliers, 
cut a giant hole through a fence in a corner. These cows, there was like two big holes in a fence where the cows were just walking through. There, it wasn't even up into this little pasture, you know, 160 pasture. And so I just went to the corner where the pickup was sitting, cut the holes through the fence, so all the cows would just funnel through in the corner, kick my cake siren on, and lo and behold, I've got 200 head of cows moving, heading towards the pasture. That way I can get these cows in the pasture, feed the damn things, and then spend the next hour going and catching all their little baby calves that turn back. And then I'll take the pickup and do all that fun stuff and get them so everyone's back together. Today the wind at 2 o'clock in 2 hours is supposed to be blowing 50 miles an hour. Right now we don't have any wind. And I was just gonna try to sort all the dry cows out. I didn't have to be off stocks till Tuesday, it's Sunday. But it's supposed to be just terrible. And so I just decided, you know, it's probably a better thing just to get all the cows while I have all the help. And yeah, it's fantastic, fantastic that I have all the help. I got a cow, see that cow right there was turning back. She was gonna start turning back and it was gonna get a whole bunch of cows turning back. And all I had to do is kick on my old cake siren. And no, oh, oh, she's following me again, you know. It does not take a lot to run a feed pickup. But you have to kinda, you can't just, what happens is it's a very boring job. And people, uh, they get in the pickup and they don't they stop paying attention i do it i'll be driving along and you just it's you don't you miss a lot of stuff but also i'm driving the pickup backwards a mile down the road so i can see i can see everything that's happening so that maybe that has all the difference maybe i'm just just uh being a you know not you know being right maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong in what I'm saying but yeah you gotta just because you're sitting in the pickup doesn't mean you can't not read the cows and and the pickup I will say this this is like the worst job out of all of them is to sit in the pickup and try to lead the cows because if the cows don't want to cooperate it does not matter what you do you're wrong and everyone on the ground knows you're wrong so you're driving too fast you're getting too far ahead of the cows you're wrong you're driving too slow the cows are breaking you're wrong like you are it doesn't matter what you're doing you're wrong so you know i guess i guess maybe that's how that is so i'm probably just being too hard but then again you have some people like who just are just they'll stop in the middle of a gate and the, you know you can't stop in a gate because then the cows won't flow through the gate and it's just it's just something else so always always something but you know i was wrong for leaving my cows there that long but i paid you know, I paid so much for a circle of corn stalks, and, you know, that's money to me, you know. And I think I got my money out of it. I really, I, honestly, I've never done it before. I, I'd take every circle of corn stalks I could get. Just have to really kind of watch, you know, when my cows are going to calve. And, but I got some good help who live close to me now, and makes a difference. Makes a big difference. So, yeah, always something. These are my babies. You can tell how uh, how dry it's been. Uh, I mean, you can just see the dirt in their hair. Just tons of dirt in their hair. It's hard on them. Like that. I still got, oh, still got half a mile to go. But, and we didn't have any hard freezes so you get a few of them that little lousy um 
you know these cows have all been uh we we poured all these cows when we pregged them but we haven't had you know any moisture it's been a real dry mild winter and they'll start getting lice so we'll have to what happens is we have uh cattle rubbers on the ranch we'll have to dope them up and uh pour it put it mix it insecticide with diesel and motor oil and the cows will rub them on them because they got lice and it'll it'll take care of them and then here in a couple months when we start branding all the calves we'll spray the cows with fly spray then so it's uh you would be amazed at how much condition a cow will lose because they're sitting there fighting those lice all the time but you know that's that's what happens when it gets uh these cows grow all this hair because it's supposed to be cold and then it doesn't get cold so yeah just fun little fact while i'm driving the pickup backwards so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh kind of helped me fucking rant a little bit and rave about the stupidity sometimes that happens but that's working with family that's just working with family. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.